Okay, this is the quick start guide for Lilanana for Android. So I've just installed it and opened it and when you first open it you get a message saying that the main menu is accessible from the left hand side by swiping. Uh, here you can see the main menu, close it, open it like that. As a shortcut the three most commonly used items are also available and on the top. So you have the recording screen, the play screen and the script screen which is the screen that we are on. Okay, I'm just going to take you through what you need to know to start off with. If you're upgrading from a previous version, it should have upgraded your scripts across with you, so you should still have those as they were before. Okay, I'm going to go through the screens one at a time. The first screen is the recording screen that I'll go through. So you hit the microphone and that takes you to the recording screen here. Then you'll notice in the top right hand corner there's this light which is flashing. This is the context sensitive menu. So when you press that, it brings down a menu which is specific for the page you're on. In this case, the recording page screen. Okay, so I'm gonna start by recording a small script, a few, a few lines. Um, recording can be done using the recording me button and the recording them button and as you can see it records lines and adds them in. You can also create a new scene like that and carry on recording new lines. Now as well as just recording the lines as you did previously you can now also um, record stage direction by turning that on on the menu and that adds in this button when you press that it records a stage direction for you. Once you've recorded, you have the ability to record, re-record a line by pressing the microphone button here, which allows you to re-record, and play back a line by pressing the play button on the line there, so you can hear what you've done. One other option you have is deleting a line. You can turn on allow swipe for delete, which is the top option there, and then when you swipe, it will delete a line and it gives you a chance just to undo it if you want to. Okay, so now moving on, this is just a quick start. I'm going to move on to the play screen. Um, the play, you have a play button and and a prompt button as before, play becomes pause. What you now have here is the menu options. So this has replaced what was the settings tab. So the things to look out for here, loop, you've got the ones before can loop around, no looping, so it stops at the end. Loop a line, loop a scene, loop a date, loop script, and it's also got AB repeat. Um, so to do AB repeat, if you select that, I can select an A and that'll highlight it in red, and then select a B, and then the two will be highlighted in green. If I put the B above the A, they're in red, which means they're not valid, and it won't do it. Um, but this will then repeat between the A mark and the B mark in your lines. Okay, other things we have in the um, menu is what to do with my lines. So you have three options here. You can either play your lines, as you would normally, so you have your line, their line, your line, their line. You can leave a gap, um, and if you leave a gap, that gap will be the right length for you to read your line into. So when you know your lines, you can put the gap in. Or you can do both. If you do both, the next option becomes... Um, available which is what order you want it in so in this case it says line gap and here you have a nice summary of what's going to happen so you're going to have your line then you're going to have a gap of the same length as your line then their line there are a couple of options you can have line gap gap line and then you can also have things like line gap line and gap line gap etc and that's just so that you've got a chance to get to know your lines now one other option is pause after gap and you turn that on and that means after it's finished the gap it'll stop waiting for you to hit the play button again and recap my lines only changes it so it just does your line so if you just want to quickly run through your lines not worry about your prompts but just run through your lines you can use that 
and you can also change the gap size and in this version you can load a PDF as well if you want to. Okay, so that's a quick run through of the play screen. I'm now going to go into the script screen. So I'm going to take a script. I'm going to take a script that I'm currently learning, which is Murder with Ghosts. Um, as you can see at the top, it has the name of the script you're in. Um, and then on the menu, there are four different options um, scenes, characters, share a script, duplicate a script. So I'll start with the simplest first. Duplicate a script just gives you a prompt for a name for that script you want to copy it to. So that's very straightforward. Okay, scenes. Within the scene, you can either show scenes, and this just shows you the scenes that are in there, or you can show the lines within the scene, and it shows you the name of the person and the line number, the length of the line. And then you can actually go in and you can um, change the character, you can change the name of the line, or you can play the line. Now, what you may have noticed is that we have lots of different characters here in this scene. The, this is done by the characters option. And here you can add in new characters and you can give the character name and you can give the cast member name who's in it. And the character that is represented by you, you mark with a star. So in this case, I'm playing the part of Greville. You can go in and edit any of these, um, change the name, change the character name, change the icon, your male and female icons there. And then you can also give all the lines for that character to another person if you want. So that's the characters. Um, then another option we have, which is new, is showing the script. Here you can either choose the whole script, in which case you select all characters and all scenes and then hit the share button or you can just share individual characters and individual scenes um, you can then share that via a number of means so it may be um, email or a better alternative is something like Dropbox or Google Plus because they don't have the file size limitations that email tends to and once you have shared it if someone opens an attachment or something from Google Plus or Dropbox um, of the correct file name, then that will open and you can import that into Line Learner with a number of different options. Um, another thing you have here on the menu is export for CD burning. So you can just export all, all the lines to a CD and, and just play that if you want to play that away from the uh, your device. So as I said, each menu is different and context sensitive to the page. Before you've seen the menu, it'll be yellow, as in this case. So if I go back to the share script, because we saw it, it went to gray. So we've not seen this menu yet. You can click on it. It gives you the option to split filming by days, if you wish to. And then that changes that to days, and you can go and see your days before you move on to the scenes, if you need to split that. Um, as I said, the main menu is option gives you access from the side. Um, it's got script recording play. It's also got sharing, so you can share with friends via Facebook, Twitter, etc. Or you can send feedback to me if there's any features um, or any problems you're having or you've got any questions. Um, the other option is help, and the help screen is here it's got four sections a quick start guide and then there's full instructions full instructions and video tutorials of which this is one okay well that is everything for now i want to thank you for downloading uh, line learner and i hope you find it very useful